Well, the bluebells are out just in time for the wonderful summer festival, the beginning of summer festival of Beltana. Now, some people say Beltane, but of course, that's the wrong pronunciation. Beltana is an ancient Celtic, Irish Celtic festival, as is Imac, Lunasa, and so on. And the bluebells are out. I'm just down here on the other side of the fairy wood, just walking along behind the mound, the long, long mound that, of course, was part of the spoils from the ponds when they were dug out. And there's the cuckoo. <laughs> Welcoming Bealtaine. And buds on the beautiful, I think this is, uh, oh, this is a purple beach. Yeah, this is a purple beach. And the buds are coming out of it. little bluebells just colonizing as they do. They spread by seed. Just sound as though it's just above me. Very, very hard to see the cook. Oh, wait a moment. Wait a moment. Up there in the poplar tree, just where I'm pointing, that could be it. Yeah. Just walk around a wee bit. See those orangey leaves up there? Ah, yes, there, there it is. There it is. Now that was a rare sight, a very rare sight. Cuckoos are notoriously um, sort of secretive birds. But there's a pair of cuckoos that meet up here. Could be the same pair, I don't know. Every year, and that's the first year that I've actually got a picture of it. So I'm just walking back up towards the cottage. This is the crossing stone, which is on the map. The cuckoo's gone off in the distance. The blossom is just going over on the cherry tree. Let's keep walking. That's the entrance to the fairy wood. Just there. Look at the steps now. It's all uphill. So if you hear me breathing heavily, it's because of that. Now, Lots of blossom on the Kanzan cherry. Lots and lots of leaves coming out everywhere, which is rather beautiful. And that yellow tulip is still holding sway. Isn't that amazing? It's 
So this is the view from the front of my cottage. It really is a cottage in the woods. Yeah. What I imagined on day one. It just embraces your soul, doesn't it? Trees and woodland it just does that. It's just so joyful, so healthy, just amazing. You know, when I <coughs> when I drive to town or drive to Sligo or wherever it is, I'm, I'm on the road and I see houses, sometimes quite beautiful houses, but just surrounded with this nondescript swathe of lawn of grass that's doing nothing that has no joy no secrets no enchantment there is a reason why the cuckoos come here every year it's because of woodland so today I will spend much of the day um, getting ready for Bealtaine, which of course is tomorrow, tomorrow eve. Bealtaine begins at sundown, at sunset. And it's a time to celebrate and to give gratitude, to be grateful for all the wonders of nature. My ancestors were completely wrapped in nature. For them, everything was nature. Everything that was on the earth, everything that was in the heavens above. And it really is the most enchanting time. And the only way in which I can express it fully is to have my little ceremonial fire over there in the fire pit to stay up late and watch the stars to embrace everything that's around me and to be so grateful that Mother Earth has responded to my tending and my planting and my caring these past 17 years Do you know why I say that, that this is, for me, a festival of gratitude? Because when I see all this, I realise that it doesn't matter how much human unkind has gone out of their way to destroy Mother Earth. There is no keeping this girl down. A little bit of love and caring brings forth everything she has and it is truly amazing. And the apple blossom is out.